For this Ask Anna, I've been asked to talk about training to become a dancer. So at the moment, lots of people are selecting options at school and college and progressing. Um, and it often comes up at this time about what, what do I do beyond 16 or 18 if I want to become a performer? So I think there are, in the easiest way, there are two strands that you can look at. You can look at going down a degree route, so making applications through UCAS to go to a university to study a degree in performance or it could be a degree in dance. And then you have the vocational theatre college route. Um, the Council for Dance and Musical Theatre Training um, hold a list, you'll be able to find it on their website, of accredited colleges for vocational. And vocational by the nature of the word is training in order to do something practically. So training to become a performer. So there are two possible routes, although there is now a third, um, which is to do a dance or performance degree within or affiliated to a vocational training. So you could spend time at that institution vocationally for three years and come out with a degree. So I think it's important to know that there are options for training. There isn't just one route. Vocational training, you can go to from the age of 16, so post GCSE year. And obviously uh, degree training is post 18. So if, you, if you're thinking of filling that gap, then there's potentially a couple of years of A-levels or perhaps a B-tech in performance or specific to the performance uh, art you want to specialise in. And then out of that training, I think it's really interesting to point out um, who knows, who knows in the world, never mind who knows in the performing sector. Um, and I think often I encounter some parents and guardians who are very hesitant. You know, what if they don't get a performing job? What if they don't become a dancer? What if they don't become a performer? But then they've had a brilliant time training and doing something that they love. Um, and again, with the correct training and contacts, those key vocational schools will hopefully give them that good step up the ladder to become employed in dance. Um, and also, it isn't just about performing. Um, there are a whole heap of roles that you can have in the dance sector. Um, so I think if you or someone you know is thinking about pursuing performing or dance specifically, um, then my advice is to really research on UCAS and CDMT and absolutely try your best and go for it. Um, good luck.